Hey guys, I am back with another video and this is actually going to be a makeup haul because for some reason I've gone a bit nuts lately and just sort of purchased all this makeup and stuff. Um, I know this is predominantly a fashion channel but obviously I'm into beauty and makeup as well. So I thought I'd do a separate video just on these makeup and beauty items that I've recently purchased. So I've purchased items recently from beautyjoint.com iHerb.com as well as I'll sell and I'll start with the items that I got from Beauty Joint and this was my first time purchasing from the site and everything is really cheap. Now the first thing that I got is this e.l.f. Um, under eye concealer and highlighter and I haven't used this yet as you can see. Um, this was only $3.99 which I thought was really cheap and I just got it because you know, we don't have access to e.l.f. products here. Um, we do have an e.l.f. website um, in for Australia, but it is more expensive than what you guys pay in the US. So I just bought this because it was cheap and, you know, I was already making a purchase. The next thing that I got is this Milani Liquid Eye um, Metallic Eyeliner Pencil. And the reason why I got this is because everyone on youtube has been raving on about this since like the beginning of time and so i just thought i'd jump on the back wagon, the band wagon and give it a go but i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i actually like it and i bought two because i thought oh you know everyone loves it it must be good but i think that for me it's a little too creamy um i'll swatch it for you so you can see there like how easy it was for me just to draw that line and it is very beautiful um, it is very creamy but like I said it's a little too creamy it sort of gives me too much freedom and it's sort of really easy to make mistakes because it's so creamy and soft um, and also I don't know why people say this doesn't budge because it smudges on me so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if I purchased the wrong product. I'm pretty sure this is the one that everyone raves about. But, I mean, like, it's a beautiful, like, line that you can see there that it's made. And, yeah, I can see why people like it, but... I don't know. So this was $6.99 and I bought two. Next thing I got was a huge disappointment. It was the Milani Eyeshadow Palette. And... Or Power Eyeshadow Palette. And... This came shattered, like absolutely shattered. And I, I will say that all of the items um, that were packaged really well, it was in like super duper bubble wrap and all that sort of thing. So I wouldn't necessarily blame them that this came shattered, but I have contacted them since and that was at the beginning of the week to let them know what happened and haven't heard back since. So that's a big no-no from me. I kind of expect a reply within at least 48 hours, you know, max. So this was $8.99, but I can't use this. So I hope that they'll contact me back. And the next thing that I got is this NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil. And um, again, I sort of just bought this because I was making a purchase. Um, at the moment, I use Essence um, Eyebrow Powder on my eyebrows. And i got to say my eyebrows are not in the best shape. Um, I'm really lazy when it comes to my eyebrows, but I'm quite happy with the essence powder, but I thought I'll buy this for when that finishes and see how this goes. And that was $4.49. And finally, the last thing I got is this Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs, and this is another product that is raved on and on about on YouTube. And I haven't tried it because it's quite expensive in Priceline or when we buy it in store, and this was $15.99, which is um, a great price in comparison and so I've been a bit scared to try it out but I thought um, since it's cheaper I'll give it a go and I was a bit chicken and I bought like a really light shade it's in light glow um, but if you've seen my lookbook videos where you've seen my bare legs you can see that my legs are like pasty white so any color will be good for my legs because at the moment they're just like a deathly white color so if you have any tips on how to um, apply this, please let me know. Delivery was about $11. I don't remember how long it took for me to receive the order. I would say probably two to three weeks or something. I did have a coupon code which was from Hey June when I purchased um, 
when I made this purchase so it did bring the price down a bit so my suggestion would be to look for a Google for a coupon code when you make a purchase and the next purchase that I want to talk about is from iherb.com and you guys have probably heard about this already they sell real techniques brushes for really really cheap um, especially compared to what they're selling it for in Priceline so I jumped on the bandwagon and I purchased my real technique real technique real techniques brushes and while I was there I also purchased some eco tools brushes because they're also really cheap compared to what they're selling it for in Priceline so um, I bought and I've taken it all out of the packaging but I've kept it so that I can show you I bought the Real Techniques um, Your Eyes Enhanced Starter Set and this includes five brushes and it came in a little um, case like this which you can use for traveling as well. Um, now the five brushes were these five brushes here. So it um, there's a brow brush which is that one. I tried using this for my brows and I actually don't like it because I feel like it's too big and um, so I like the, the brush that I use at the moment for my brows is my MAC um, angled eyeliner brush and that is um, slightly shorter in width and it's like the perfect size for my eyebrows where I can just sort of sweep it on whereas this is a bit too wide so it covers too much space so it does get a bit messy so I didn't like it for my eyebrows um, but it is very soft. Um, it came also with a pixel point eyeliner brush and I don't see how this is an eyeliner brush. It's like, I don't know if you can see that, it's like so soft. How are you meant to put eyeliner on using this? I'd probably use it, um, actually I probably wouldn't use this at all to be honest. Um, if I said anything else I'd be lying. It also comes with this accent brush which is um, very very small. I'll probably use this to um, like conceal little spots um, or blemishes on my face. It came with this deluxe crease brush which has become my new favourite um, crease eyeshadow brush. And yeah, I just love it. It's, it's quite dense and it's really soft and it's quite big as well so um, it covers a lot of space as well and I just like to um, either use it here or um, along my outer corner. And finally, it um, also came with this Space Shadow Brush. Now the other Real Techniques brush that I bought is this Expert Face Brush. And this has become my favourite brush to put on my foundation. And it's like, it's really dense and I love that it's... um sort of rounded so you can sort of really get into like you know um, around your nose and stuff um, before this um, my favorite brush was my Sigma um, flat top kabuki brush but this has actually turned into my new favorite and like I said it's really soft and I like that it's a bit smaller as well um, so yeah I really really love this and I forgot to mention the price. So this one was $8.99 on the website and this pack was $17.99. So um, a fantastic price. And the last thing that I got from Real Techniques is this uh, Your Finish Perfected Kabuki brush. And that's this one here. And I didn't actually realize it was going to be like a short little brush. I thought it was going to be like a full size. Um, but this is great for traveling actually. And it is so soft on the face. I would probably use this for powdering my face and the cool thing about this brush is that it opens up like that too so you could like um, contour your face as well with bronzer or whatnot. so yeah and it's like really 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 soft and this is $9.99 on the website and I also bought this Eco Tools angled eyeliner brush and I just bought this because I thought it would be good to have another um, eyeliner brush because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm really slack with cleaning my brushes, so I think the more I have, the better, so I can like go through all of them and then clean them all at once. I know that's really bad. Um, this is $3.50 on the website. And the last thing I got is this Eco Tools eyeshadow brush, and I am in love with this brush. This has become my new favorite for putting on my eyeshadow, and 
Um, I find that with this brush, because it's so good, I get a bit lazy to sort of just use the one brush for everything. Um, it's really good because um, it's quite dense and you can cover a lot of space with this. So this is my new favourite and this was $3.50 as well. And when I made the purchase on iHerb um, and they sent the items to me, they actually gave me a coupon code. Um, so you'd get this too if you made a purchase. And so if you guys are interested in purchasing, you get an instant $5 off your first iHerb purchase. Anyway, so I definitely, definitely recommend the iHerb website for your Eco Tools brushes and as well as your Real Techniques brushes. It's especially if you're in Australia because it's a lot cheaper. And finally, I made um, a couple of purchases on ozsale.com.au uh, when they had the balm. And the first purchase that I made, and it was the reason why I made the purchase in the first place, with this was this Meat Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I saw this on its Judy Life, it's Judy's Life, uh, on her vlog. She was talking about this quite a while ago. And it's an eyeshadow palette which is all matte shades. And I have been looking for an eyeshadow palette that is just all matte shades because my, my real favourite is my Naked palette. And I love my Naked palette, but sometimes I just want to use more matte shadows or at least like, um, for the blending out, I want to use matte shadows rather than have shimmer all over my eyes. And so I bought this and I was so wrapped when I saw it on Ossel. Um, so that's it there. And I love the actual colours that come with this palette because it's not just like your outrageous colours that you would never wear. They're all very wearable colours. Um, lots of neutrals. You get like um, also a blue and a green and a plum colour as well. And so you get nine shades, and this was $18, which I think is a great price for an eyeshadow palette. I have it on my eyes today, um, and I used it for the first time last night, and I'm loving it. I also bought, while I was there, blush, and this is the Frat Boy blush, and I'm loving this colour as well. And this is sort of like a peachy colour, and I bought this because I don't have a blush this colour. And I've also got this on my cheeks, although you probably can't see it because I'm probably all washed out. Because I just can't get the lighting right with the stupid sun coming in and out. But anyway, I'm loving this colour as well. And delivery from Ocel was $9.50 for that particular site. It took forever though. I didn't get it till like, I reckon more than a month, but it was well worth the wait. So that concludes my makeup haul. I'm, I, I apologize if I just seem really illiterate throughout because I, as you know, I'm not a makeup guru, but I do love my makeup and beauty items. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter, which is joy86 and my Instagram, which is lovechicstyling. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.